Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be showing you guys how easy it is to actually get set up with plain Windows only games on Linux. Now, the biggest thing that inspired me to come up with this video today was that Linus Tech Tips, a very popular YouTuber, very influential. Yeah, occasionally he, he'll talk about gaming on Linux. And so he did this video and they went through the process of getting set up with um with Wine or using Wine, uh, which is a compatibility layer to play Windows only games on Linux. And they made it seem even a little bit harder than it is. So I'm here to simplify that uh, process for you guys. Now the first mistake they made is actually starting with Ubuntu 18.04 here. Um, Ubuntu itself is not as up to date as something like Manjaro, which is what I'm running here. So two things they had to install was a newer Mesa graphics driver stack and a newer kernel. Ubuntu only comes with like 4.15 and on Manjaro a bleeding edge rolling release um, you can actually get the, the latest one normally when you install Manjaro it comes with um, the kernel long-term support 14.14 which is actually a good idea because it's you no know, stable but you can easily change the kernel the interesting thing is they had to download and open up the command line to install a program that does I think it's the same program but it does what this is trying to do and that's just install a later kernel version I'm running the latest stable release 4.17.9 obviously I can go a little bit more bleeding edge but I ain't down for that and so you can easily install the kernel you hit install and then you reboot that's the only scenario where you have to reboot Linux is to install a kernel and it will just boot up the new kernel so again Manjaro makes this really easy it's like you're installing an app so that's one way this uh, distro is already easier to use than Ubuntu and a lot of my videos they try to be from the perspective of like um, anything you do on Linux being user friendly so of course you could pretty much do anything with any OS but the point that I try to make in my videos is um, how friendly it is to a newbie and if you guys can see I'm running a pretty recent Mesa driver 18.1.4 and I forget which version Ubuntu ships with it's not too far out but it's not as up to date as this and again this is just by updating to the latest stuff you get this newer Mesa driver so again it's as simple as going to the software center updating all your stuff compared to installing the kernel and updating the graphics card yeah it wasn't hard they were just copying um, you know PPA repositories and loading up in the terminal which is still pretty easy but this thing makes it even easier or this distro makes it a lot easier so the very next step that you have to do after is install wine and wine you can find it in the package manager here just type in wine and you should be okay downloading this wine version 3.12 so it's as simple as you know clicking this button and then hit apply and hit commit which is really just saying install and that will get installed here now I used to think that I could just install this and I can more or less get wine going but I also had to install play on Linux for some reason even though I'm not really using it, but for some reason it, it wanted that when I tried testing Wine. And so I just play on Linux, install this, and you could use it if you really want to, to manage your Windows apps, but I honestly don't like it too much. It's very buggy. But yeah, you could install that. And once you've installed those two, you just head over to the Steam uh, website and hit install steam install steam now nope you have to choose the windows version and you now you'll get the windows version 
And once you install this, all you gotta select is, here actually, let me show you guys. All right, so all you gotta do is right click and open with Wine Program Loader and it'll you know walk you through installing Steam. It's slightly buggy a lot of times when you first boot up Steam, or at least the very first time I booted up, it didn't load anything like like I would click random places and it would load the menu, but all I had to do was close it and reopen it and it worked fine. So definitely not 100% smooth, but you shouldn't really have too big of a problem. So once you do that, if you've installed Steam before on Linux, this is the Linux version. You can tell it's the icon's color, coloring looks different. And you can just boot up Steam. And the thing that's never worked on the Windows version of Steam on Wine is the store for whatever reason, but that's fine. Go to View Games Library, and I'm actually going to go to Installed Games here. And let me go to my library and install. So interesting thing is that I first was just going to test this out because this is more an installation guide rather than gameplay now it's going to boot this up real quick and interestingly enough even though it's worked in the past for me at least on solus with an earlier version of wine this time it loaded the like the intro but then on the menu it only loads the sound i guess everything loads except for just the video uh, so i was like damn it i can't use this to show off how easy it is to install games on or play Windows games on Wine on Linux here. So I, I got this other game. And first of all, the reason why I'm downloading these games, because they're Windows only and they're tiny. And I, I'm gonna actually download Grand Theft Auto V and The Witcher 3 later, but not right now, because um, that's gonna be for an upcoming video. And The Witcher 3, I've actually done videos and it worked perfectly fine, but I feel like I could have done that that uh, video a lot better. So it always does performing first time setup. It's gonna always do it, which is fine. And I actually tried playing this game on my 4K TV, but because I have to do scaling, it has some really weird glitches. So it's definitely, if you're gonna use Linux, 1080p is still its best friend here. Actually, let me go back. I'm gonna go to options, display, I set this to, I can set this to ultra. It should run perfectly fine. And I do run it windowed up. I wasn't able to get full screen on here, which I'm not, which is fine for me, honestly. But anyways, let me go back and show you just gameplay here. So this is a windows only game, very small game. I think it's only like three gigabytes to download. It's a pretty decent game. It's made by creators of Bioshock. When you're blind, you learn a thing or two about trust. You learn who to trust. So obviously it's dark. Because that's just how the game is. You learn what to trust. Now, I do want to say a few things, though. On the Gaming on Linux video, they did try playing games using DXVK, which is a DirectX to Vulkan layer. Um, and it's a bit more advanced, and it may actually even work better. But if you wanted the bare bones, easiest way to just get started, this guide pretty much shows you it. You don't really need to use DXVK to get a decent experience here. And again, and this guide is designed to keep to like yourself. the newbie you in mind here. First to Boston to find the mansion from your nightmares. And that's usually what most of my videos are. It's just like, is this easy or user friendly? Now, and I certainly don't know what's waiting for me at Echo Bluff. But I do know I can't take much more of the right, torment. Let's move. So I'm trusting myself to get to the bottom. I'm holding my mic in one hand and playing with the other. 
Alright. These are just credits. And honestly, this may be actually a bad game to show off because the game itself is dark and to be honest, it probably looks like it's all glitching out, but it's not. It's actually how the game Hello? loads. But yes, uh, I think I'm going to end it here though. Um, I think you guys have seen enough. I mostly wanted to make this a guide on installing and getting set up with playing Windows games on, on Linux here. And what's the easiest way to do it? with the least amount of work and this will do it another neat trick here is i can pause it and now lets me access here but all right guys other than that that's how easy it is to get set up with uh playing windows games on linux of course you can probably get better performance by doing a lot more intermediate uh work there but for now this should be enough this worked fine with playing the witcher 3 I'll post a link to that video in my description below. The recording on that was kind of terrible, so it looks glitchy, but um, you guys will see. And expect a future video showing off many Windows games um, using this setup here, just to see how, how good they perform. So if you found the video helpful, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.